Good day crafty chums and welcome to this week's swap. Now, <laughs> this week's swap is going to be a folded tag swap and I was going to do it out of a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock but then I remembered that Issy has a problem with that, she doesn't have the 12 by 12s or maybe she only has a couple of 12 by 12s or something so she was on about having an unusual size of the uh, um, cardstock to work with. So that's what we're going to do now. This is a uh, cardstock I'm working with here is 11 and 3 quarters by 8 and a half approximately. <laughs> so this is it. Um, it's a nice yellow colour so it's nice and bright for you to see. Hopefully I can see it too. So the first thing you're going to do is to cut it down into tag length. So I've cut this sheet down to six inches wide. And uh, and what we're going to do, so it's six inches wide and eleven and three quarters long. What we're going to do is to score the tags. So I'm choosing to do the tags at two and three quarter inches wide. So we're going to score at two and three quarters. And then we need to leave a gap. So the gap will be two eighths of an inch. So I'm going to score at three. So two and three quarters, which will take me to five and three quarters. And then six. So I only have the small scoreboard, so again, <laughs> two and three quarters, and three. Oop. And that leaves you one, two, three, four tags with enough space um, to trim the tag in half if someone then wants to use your tag after. So what we're going to do is, the next bit is just simply fold fold the creases and you can make these tags any width and any length you want just remember that you will be making them into a size that easily fits into an envelope because this is going to be for your swap. Like so. So that's the shape you're aiming for, a nice little concertina tag shape. Um, and we're going to end up decorating so what I've done is to make actually make the tag shape is I've cut a little piece of corner of the cardstock that was left over and simply what you're going to do is you're going to make your little tag shape so if you just pop your corner piece up line it up Excuse the noise, my hubby's walking around on the deck above, filling in holes. <laughs> well, not holes, he's actually been painting and chipping the rest away. And so he's got to, uh, got to then put in some rust inhibitor and paint and filler. And, and it takes days, you know, it's not a simple thing. It takes several days to do. So we're just like forming the V's for the tags and you can do this, the tag tops any shape you want. You don't have to do it the same shape as I'm doing it. So we have heard that, my hubby said he's done. Do 
tomorrow we're uh, taking the boat alongside and um, doing what they call careening it which is um, tying it up alongside the dock in an area that uh, that dries and so um, she's going to be alongside tomorrow drying off and we're going to scrub her bottom and she'll enjoy that to get rid of some of the weeds and barnacles that like to attach themselves to boats slow the boat down when she's sailing So you can see it's starting to form now. So there you go, that's the basis of your tag swap and um, what you need to do is decorate it and get it ready to send off. Um, I suggest doing both sides because uh, um, yeah, it just looks nicer <laughs> but you don't have to, you can decorate it how you want and I'll just come back with some photos after and show you what I make of mine. So you can make it any size you want, it's got to fit into an envelope, don't forget but with the folded and um, it will fit into a, you know, quite a small envelope and the thickness just depends on how much you, you embellish it. You can embellish it however much you want, but that's the shape. That's the swap for this time. It's a folded tag swap and I'll have photos of the finished product afterwards. So see you again soon. Bye. Happy swapping.